Hey, I'm Jesse Broadwater. And I'm Chelsea with the Pink Arrow Project. Join together with us and other passionate archers from all around the globe in the Taking Aim at Cancer Challenge 2018 to defeat cancer in my lifetime. Hey everybody, this is Greg Poole with Bow Junkie Media. I'm here with Darren Christianberry. We're at the 2018 ASA in Augusta, Georgia. Let's take a moment and look at the participants in our Senior Pro Shootdown. Dwayne Price, Greenfield, Wisconsin. I'm Rich Calloway from Wyoiga, Wisconsin. Joe Pitt, Windsor, Virginia. Jeff Hopkins from Lacona, Iowa. Hey everybody, Greg Poole here at Bow Junkie Media, bowjunkiemedia.com. We're here at the 2018 ASA in Augusta, Georgia. I'm here with esteemed colleague, elite pro staff manager, Darren Christianberry. It's time for the senior pros. It's time. It's it interesting is. to look out there and see Andy holding the umbrella for his dad Abs in the shoot off. That's pretty cool. <laughs> right. No doubt about it. So here in the senior pro, we got Dwayne Price at a 416, Richard Calloway at a 414, Joe Pitt at a 413, Bill McCall at a 412, and Jeff Hopkins at a 410. So we got the new venue over here. I don't know if this is a venue, but it's the location at the venue. And so shooting a little bit downhill, shooting off some concrete go. So uh, going to be curious to see what these seniors pull out of their hat. Yeah, this should be an interesting shoot off. 10 for Dwayne Price. So Dwayne Price, our leader, comes out with a 10, which that's that's a good safe move. Yeah, puts him at 426. He can get calibrated off that. Now he can go if he needs to. Richard Calloway with an 8. So that's going to be a little bit of a gift there for Dwayne. Kind of helps Dwayne's cause. That, it does. Lessens that pressure right there. Especially on the first arrow, the first arrow in this uh, new area, definitely want to five wow. for Joe that Pitt. Looks like a really high arrow. Looks like Joe was going for the 14 on that. He may have been. You're right. Yep. Bill McCall. 12 wow. for Bill McCall. I did call him as my sleeper. There you go. I did call Bonus him as my sleeper. Bonus ring on the very first target. Yep. Here we go, Jeff Hopkins, with a 10 for Jeff Hopkins. So there we go, my uh, my sleeper there, Bill McCall, making a move right off the bat. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard. All right, Darren, here we go. This is arrow number two in the Senior Pro here at the Augusta ASA. This weekend's coverage is brought to you by AAE. Got Jackie Cottle bringing, bringing Mike Terrell a water and a chair out there. But uh, Mike little needs bit of, an umbrella holder. He does. A little bit of a move there right off the bat, Darren. What happened that for first sure, arrow? For sure. Dwayne stayed in the 10. Richard Calloway backed up with an 8 right there. Joe Pitt may have been shooting at a 14. He took a 5. Billy McCall smoked a 12, and he's only two points out of the lead after that arrow. That's my sleeper right there. I mean, I'd like to see Dwayne do well, but uh, if I had to pick one, I, I was picking Bill McCall as my sleeper. So here we go. Okay, all them guys, they're getting these arrows off in less than 30 seconds. They're, they're not waiting. And an 8. Eight for Bill McCall, so that's going to kind of hurt his cause and, and help. Five for Joe. Ooh, that's back-to-back back back. nickels. That's pretty much going to be a wrap for Joe. He's got nothing to lose now. Have that's, some fun. That's right. That's right. Here we go. Ten for Richard Calloway. So uh, Dwayne, could, Dwayne could end up putting her on cruise control here in a minute. Yeah. He got a 10, 10 for Dwayne Price, which is really all he needs to do at this point. He needs, I mean, to, do, he needs to make no mistakes. Right. These guys have to come get him. That's so it. You just nailed it right it on the head. Keep it in the 10 ring. Don't make mistakes and cash the big check. 12 for Jeff Hopkins. Look at Jeff Hopkins making a little bit of a move there. Wow. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard and check it out. <laughs>
All right, here we go, Darren. This is arrow number three in the senior pro class here at the ASA in Augusta, Georgia. This weekend's coverage brought to you by AAE. Darren, uh, Dwayne Price just basically plugging along, doing exactly what he needs to do. Doesn't need to try to be a hero. Mm -mm. Doesn't need to try to do anything out of the ordinary. Just come out here, make some make some decent shots. Like a clean shot from Dwayne right there. He's but, on uh, that turkey. I think that's the is. toughest target they're shooting out there right now. No doubt. So we had a little bit of a move there from Bill McCall with a ring on the first one, but he followed that up with an eight. It's tightened uh, up considerably. It has Joe Pitt with back-to-back -back nickels is going to be tough there. Has everybody fired an arrow? So what do we, Jeff Hopkins is, uh, I don't see an arrow. What happened? Mike's. Oh, we're, so where's the, uh, All right. what happened? We're not, sh we're not sure what's going on here. 10, 10 for Bill McCall. Yep. Jeff, Jeff Hopkins shoots a blank on the Russian boar. What? Jeff Jeff Hopkins launches one into the water. We'll have to definitely definitely We'll have to definitely look at the review on that one there. Dwayne Price on the turkey with an 8. Definitely would have liked to stay in the 10 right there. Wow. That's Richard Callaway shoots a zero on the Coyote. We're a little bit baffled here, folks. What did I miss? We're a little bit, uh, we're a little bit. An eight for Joe. Not quite sure what to think of this. Not well, quite sure what to think of this, Darren, but uh, we're going to go to the PSC leaderboard and let them sort it out. All right, Darren, we're back. This is our fourth arrow on the Senior Pro, but uh, we have some incredible developments going on right now. We didn't lose, we didn't lose connection. We were all just kind of blank staring at each other on what happened right there. Yeah. A couple of blanks. Jeff Hopkins shoots a zero. Callaway shoots a zero. Yeah. I, Billy McCall moves into second place, only two points behind Dwayne. Yeah, absolutely. Their their one minute has started, but we're we're just a little bit all in all right now. Wow. I guess uh, this this is far from over. I'm telling you. Luckily. You know, folks, we are not able to see the uh, the the archer views or the target views, but but our main man August Peters will be uh, in the editing room, <laughs> seeing what exactly happened right there. As a big gust of wind comes through, here we go. Eight for Richard Calloway, for Richard Calloway. puts him at 440. This is a big arrow for Dwayne. Yes, right it here. is. An eight oh. for Dwayne. Puts him at 452. Kind of needed that right there. He didn't need to make a mistake. No. Depending on and what Billy does here, that could really flip-flop. Ten for Bill McCall. Bill McCall calls upper 12. Gets an eight. 
So that's going to give Dwayne a little bit of help there. 450. Who shot the 10? Bill McCall. Joe Pitt with a 10. All right, let's go to the PSE leaderboard and see how it shakes out. All right, Darren, here we go. We're back. We're still a little bit befunctled, yeah. but uh, we're on to our fifth arrow in the senior pro, but there has been some massive apocalyptic developments in this shoot down. I think I've got my math right now. We're in a two-man race for first and second, and yeah, then a three-man is... race to see who wants the third spot on the podium. Yeah, I, I, I've never seen two, two zeros in the same sh shoot down no, ever. I don't know if it was we, because I wasn't watching the arrows, but I looked up and it was like everyone was dazed and confused. We don't know what happened. Yeah, that was absolutely crazy. This is an important arrow for Dwayne. It's the longest target out there, the mule deer, and there's a pretty steady crosswind hitting us right in the face. There is right now, yes. It's going to yes. be coming from Dwayne's left. And that's the thing about this about this lake is it curves around, so the wind changes. Sometimes yeah. it's at our face, sometimes it's at our back. This deer is facing the right direction. If he gets some right drift, he's got plenty of tin ring right of the 12. Yeah, and du Dwayne has shot some feet. Dwayne's been doing this long enough. He's going he's gonna to know. It looks like a Dwayne... Dwayne Pulls up to glass very quickly. See what we got going on down here for, for Callaway. Richard Callaway with a 12. Oh, there you go, Richard. So Richard Callaway with a bonus ring trying to get back into that podium finish anyway. Here we go. 14. Joe Pitt wow. hits a 14. There we go. Now it's really changing up. Oh, I'm telling you, this is incredible. <laughs> so here we go. Bill McCall Billy? on the turkey Shoot with a 10. A Dwayne, Price needs, a uh, a Dwayne Price needs double digits on this And deer. from the looks, from the 10 for Jeff Hopkins. For the small glimpse that I see the target, it looks like Dwayne actually hit left on this thing. Maybe he was trying to give it too much. Maybe. He may have been playing the win and got caught. Eight. For Dwayne Price. Wow. Wow. Everybody's in the final arrow now. That is unreal. <laughs> With zeros, we have people in the final arrow. Let's go to the PSE leaderboard in absolute amazement. All right, Darren, here we go. We are in the uh, sixth and final era of the Senior Pro here at the Augusta ASA. Swiggins coverage brought to you by AAE. That's pretty much all I got to say. I don't really know what else to say at this point. I, I don't either. I'm dazed and confused. We went it to, is. Uh, we had a two-man race for first. We had a three-man race for third. A couple of blanks and a couple of eights, and now everybody's in the final arrow shooting for the win. So uh, it's never over until it's over. Yeah, th this is absolutely crazy. I mean, it has uh, Dwayne Price, had he shot a 10 on that last one, would have would have uh, given him a lead coming into this last arrow. But right now, he's tied with the sleeper, Bill McCall, mm -hmm. and even the guys that shot zeros worked their way back into him with some bonus rings. Everybody's got a chance still. Dwayne been, can't be happy about that. You've been doing this a long time. You ever seen anything like that? Not that. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was wind, if they were shooting at 14s and just overjudged it, if they bobbled and shot a bad shot. I don't know what really happened, so I'm curious to see what the tape shows us. Yeah, so here we go. Don Bailey has set the set the sixth bonus stake, or in this stake, in this case, cone. Cone. And uh, guys, are, guys are judging right here. Mike Terrell's trying to trying to get out there and get some input from Callaway, and he says not hit the water. <laughs> we uh, 
We've talked a lot about Dwayne's season and overcoming adversity. We have. He, uh, he's got to be scratching his head right now going, man, what opportunity did I have right there and where did it go? All he needed to do was hit center tens on two or three of them arrows and he has a lead here where he just needs to hit foam. And I know that's tough. Those ten rings get pretty small when you have to have them in front of everybody. So I get that. But we'll see what happens here in these next four or five shots. All right, here comes Richard Calloway. And you can see Dwayne right there with his arms crossed, definitely deep in thought. Going for the turkey. That looks like a high arrow, That's Darren. That's definitely a high arrow. He's got nothing to lose. He should be gunning for it. So here we go. Five. Five for Richard Calloway. He'll end up at 457 points. Yes, well, and that's pretty much just what he needed to do. I mean, yeah, he have to. Why, why do anything else? You got to force your hand out there, make these people make a mistake. I am incredibly curious to hear what happened to Callaway and Hopkins on them zeros. Yeah. <coughs> See what Jeff does here. I don't Jeff think can, Jeff could come right back out and drop a 14er here. With a little bit of breeze, I don't think he'll aim long. He'll get it close and execute here and. With the with the the familiar Jeff Hopkins form there, that's definitely that's a high arrow. So uh, let's see if he let's see if he pulled it. Jeff Hopkins with 14 for Jeff Hopkins. Wow! From zero to hero, literally in score, and the whole nine yards. It really surprises no one. Nobody. <laughs> I'm surprised at the blank earlier, but that 14, uh, good for Jeff. Good comeback, you know, Mr. Hopkins. Unfortunately, you know, Dwayne Price has to be over there just going, good Lord. Well, that 14, you know, Dwayne just needs six points to tie Jeff now, so that's got to help. But it, Billy McCall yeah, and this, Joe Pitt are going to be the big deciding factor for what yeah, Dwayne has well, to do. Well, I think I think with, with his five-point lead, I think, I think Bill McCall is the one to watch here. Yeah, for sure. You know, Joe Pitt obviously is he's probably gonna go for a go for a bonus ring, there's no doubt. And Dwayne has Billy on bonus ring, so since they're tied, Dwayne will get to shoot last. Yes, that was what Mike Terrell was saying already. A little bit of a funky follow through. He uh didn't necessarily look super stoked with that one. Has a ten for Joe Pitt. Puts him at 465. Yeah, well, at least that put him into the double digits. So Jeff Hopkins has, he's in the lead right now, but Billy and Dwayne have to shoot yet. So depending on what they do, Jeff could make the podium here. Yeah, he's he's definitely, uh, well, it looks like he's pretty much guaranteed the, the podium mm -hmm. if, if Dwayne and Bill just battle it out the way they are. He'll right. be sitting in third place. He's sitting in third. He's got third sewn up. Depending on what they do, it could go higher. And that wind still right, here, continues to yes, be a factor. Yes, it does, and it still it shifted a little bit. It, instead of in our face now, it's coming off the, the bigger part of the water. It would be so, blowing from like 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock as they're shooting. Yes, so it's a little bit less of the left and right and a little bit more of the, of yes. the, of the head on. So this is going to be – I mean, look, man, uh, Bill, Bill McCall's been in this spot. He came back from his accident last year and won Foley mm -hmm. coming from behind like this. So this is a familiar position for him. Billy's so. going to shoot shoot hard at the 12 right here. There's no sense in him shooting a 14. He just needs six points, seven points to beat Jeff. So if he shoots an eight, he takes over the lead. But if he puts a bonus ring in down there, he really puts the heat on Dwayne. That's exactly what I was thinking. I, I mean, the question is how much. You don't want to go for the 14 here mm -hmm. and then make Dwayne just have to lay up. No, because if he shoots a five here, he could go, he could go all the way to – third or fourth place. Yep. yep, if he shoots a five, he'll be tied for fourth. It's looking pretty See steady. Does, you know. Here we go, definitely doesn't look like a high arrow down there, no. so let's see what we got. I hear some claps. Let's see, we got a, a 10. 10 for Bill McCall. Okay, so if you're so, Dwayne Price, what do you do? Dwayne, safe side, aims at 12 o'clock 12 here. Upper 12 or lower? Um, I don't know what Dwayne's habit is there. Maybe judge it, add one, aim hard at the 12, or maybe judge it, cut one, aim hard at the upper. Just ensure you get a 10, but try to clip that bonus ring right here. No doubt about it. I mean, he is, uh, he's been in this position. What's impressive is even though he's had some stumbles this year, he, he keeps working his way back into this position. Mm -hmm. That's he, that's a testament to his mental mental toughness. 
you don't want to go too many chances with competitive archers here. So Dwayne really would, it'd be nice to see him 12 it and finish it. Right. Uh, if him and Billy battle too long, it's hard telling how it could go. Right. And there's not a whole lot of wind right now. So mm -hmm. just straight up, let her buck. Looks like he's holding pretty good. Good shot. Bill McCall turns and shakes his head. What happened? That's going to be. Did he get it? A 12. 12. Dwayne Price <laughs> with the fist pump and the whole nine yards. That's awesome. Dwayne Price is going to be your 2018 Augusta ASA Senior Pro Champion. All right, this is Greg Poole at Bo Junkie Media at the 2018 ASA in Augusta, Georgia. And this is your senior pro shot of the shoot down. Would be Dwayne Price's 12 on the turkey. Dwayne needed a 12 to win outright or a 10 to tie, and he smoked that 12 and took the win. He absolutely did. And not only that, but he actually had a couple eights during the match that let some folks get back into it. You could see him looking down and trying to just figure out what was going on. He kept it together. And when it came down to it, he did exactly what he needed to do and brought home the victory this time. Well, well, well. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Greg Poole here with Bo Junkie Media. We are with your 2018 Augusta ASA Senior Pro. Dwayne Price. Champion. Champion. Dwayne Price. Finally. Dude. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, man. Why did you do that? Why did you do that to us? I don't know. Why did I do it to myself? I don't know because I like punishment. I like misery. I don't know. I, I'm an idiot. You know, I mean, it is what it is. That was, that was one of, if not the most unreal shoot downs I've. Darren Christianberry's been doing this since the dawn of time, and he's never seen anything like that either. I mean, you came out, you had the, you know, you had an opportunity to kind of walk away a little bit, never really had the opportunity to close. No. You closed on that last arrow, but what was going through your mind with with uh, with Callaway and Hopkins shooting those blanks? I didn't even think about it. I, I didn't know why they did it. I wasn't going to figure out why they're doing it. I was just like, you know, just stick to your game, shoot what you do, try to play the wind as best as you did. And as you saw, I kind of messed up on the wind a little bit there, but... You know, it all worked out. So I am thrilled, man. You don't know how thrilled I am after the last month and a half, baby. <laughs> well, that's something we were talking about over there. You had the Louisville, you had Fort yeah. Benning, and yeah. you come back here, you, you keep yourself in position to win it, and then you close You're this done. time. Tell me what that means. It's awesome. It is such a relief and a load off my back because now I can just go back to shooting and having a lot more fun and not worry about the outcome so much and just go just have fun and just – Hope it all falls together again for me. So I, I, I'm just speechless, and I'm just very grateful. I'm very happy. All right, bud. Congratulations. Right, thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah.